Hello and welcome to the Edges of Earth. My name is Brock. Today I'm in a place called Corche Albania. This is my first time here. I've been here for about a couple weeks and this is basically the first time I'm going outside to explore. I've been kind of stuck inside doing some computer crap. My goal is to climb a nearby mountain and check out the view. Let's go. When you get off of the main road, all of the side streets look just like this. It's like a traditional European look and the streets are made out of some type of stone. Oh my god, I've walked for like 15 minutes and the view is already amazing. I still have like an hour, more than an hour to go. So way up there, there's a giant cross and I think a small church. That's basically my destination. So as I'm walking to the top, I met a man next to me and uh, luckily I still have a little bit of network on my phone and we could translate a little bit. But basically he says, yeah, just continue walking on this road and eventually I'll get to the top. I'm thinking it's going to be about one more hour to get there, but I realized how different our languages are. There's not a single word that he said that I could understand other than the word ruga, which means road. Everything else I couldn't understand. So thank goodness for technology. So there are some horses back there. I had to go around them. I'm a little bit nervous. There's not too many things that make me nervous in this world, but horses are one of them. All right, so just back there, like a 55 or 60 year old man just walked past me in a Speedo. I guess you can do that here. So it's kind of neat. I don't know if you can see this, but there's, it's not raining or anything. But coming out of the rocks is water. The, the, the rocks are moist. Basically water is just coming out from the rocks and going down. It's kind of cool. I just passed like an actual waterfall a second ago, a small one. I'm quite surprised how few people are here. I think I've counted like six people total since leaving here <laughs> and, and walking up. Nobody's out hiking. I don't know, it just seems like everybody would want to be here but maybe if you if you grow up here this is just normal I guess and there's nothing special about it but as a foreigner who grew up where no mountains exist this is just like a dream come true I'm getting closer I still have probably another 25 minutes to go I want to test the water I want to see if it's cold or warm or... I'm guessing it's pretty chilly since it's not the warmest temperature here oh yeah that's cold I would not want to go swimming in there water looks so clean like literally you could probably drink this although I'm definitely not going to take a risk I have a little bit of water left there's a hotel up top I'm going to go and uh, hopefully get something to drink up there yeah that's like crystal crystal clear damn yeah it's really cold though well damn for the first time in more than three years my bag broke <laughs> as I'm walking it's hard to show you but this little thing it has to go inside the pin I'm going to try my best to beat it with a rock and hopefully I can shove it back in at least to last me until I get home. After 10 minutes of beating my bag with a rock, it's back together, but I feel it will pop out at any second. So when I get home, I'll have to do some crafty uh, duct tape work or something. A few more people have passed me. I actually was passed by a man and his son on a bike and another man and another Speedo passed me. That was interesting. Actually, it wasn't a Speedo this time. It was uh, his shorts pulled really, really high uncomfortably high. Yeah, I think I still have about another 10 minutes before I reach that uh, hotel. Hopefully I can find something to drink there. I'm savoring my water and I really want to drink it all, but I'm scared that if I go there and it's not open, <laughs> I could have a, a long way to go before I, I have water again. So as I approach this place, I don't see any active people or vehicles. I'm not even sure it's open, but there's another building over here. I hear music coming from there, so that's plan B. But this one looks like it has a, I don't know, like a coffee house or something. Oh, my bag broke again. Wow, so I met a kind man a moment ago. Wow, that was quick. And he says I can use the hose. So apparently the hose water is, uh, it's good. Wow, very good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, one moment. 
I'm very good, very hot. I just walked all the way from my home far, far down below. <laughs> it's the first time you visit to Portugal? Yeah, first time in Albania. Actually, I've been here for two weeks. Uh, I was in Tirana for like three days, and then I came here. Today is my first day of exploring. Wow, so that happened kind of quick. I couldn't really film anything, but I asked <laughs> maybe the yardsman, the yards keeper, do you have water that I could buy? And he points to the hose and he says, over here. Um, this was all through body language and I said, it's no problem, like I can drink, no problem. He says, yeah, no problem. By the way, my bag broke again. But anyway, I tasted the water. It tastes great, it really does, compared to the water that I was just drinking. So while I was filling up water, a woman and another man came out and they were speaking in wonderful English to me. They were explaining everything. Very, very kind people. Apparently, it's not very busy right now because it's seasonal. Apparently, most people prefer to come here during the winter. I just can't imagine that. That would be the last time ever I would want to come here. I would love to be here right now, which is like just entering summer. Spring has just finished and summer has started. It just seems like the perfect time to come. But they said no <laughs> in the winters when everyone comes because the mountains are covered with snow and it's really, really beautiful. But to me, this is more beautiful. Anyway, so I've officially started walking up the last little stretch. I'll be to the top in about, I don't know, five minutes. So I made it here. I don't know if we can actually go in or not. I, I literally have no idea. I don't really go to churches very often. Well, I made it to the top. It's literally more breathtaking than I thought it would be. The sun is pretty much at the perfect angle. The breeze is so nice, it's cool up here. It's not too windy, it's not too cold. And the beauty over here is better than I thought it would be. It's just unreal, just unreal. To get the full feel, you have to be here. It's no words. I doubt you can hear, but behind me, I can hear the wind cutting through, cutting over top of the, uh, the mountain over there. It's a, uh, yeah, you can hear the breeze just like cut. It's really cool. So cool. I would love to go hiking over there, but I don't know. I, I, I've been looking for trails to get to the top and I can't figure it out. Plus, I have to figure out if it's even legal or not. I have no idea if there are hiking laws in this country or not. You can believe I'll figure it out. Don't worry about that. But I would love to stand there. I don't even know if I'm pointing to the right place, but I'd love to stand there at the top. Ah, oh, it'd be so cool. Anyway, I'll show you over here. This is where I came from, somewhere down there is my house. Well, you might be asking yourself, why do you look depressed? You're in such a beautiful place, in such a beautiful country, full of friendly people. Why are you depressed, Brock? Well, I'll tell you, because I walked all the way up here with my drone and I forgot the cable. Now, you might remember this happened before when I was in India, when my phone was stolen and I got a new cable. Now I only have one cable that fits. Just before I left home, I was charging my GoPro just to top it up, the battery. But then it turned out that the battery somehow is broken. It's not working. So I got frustrated and then just left, forgetting my cable. Yeah. So I walked all the way up here, spent two and a half hours getting here just specifically to fly the drone. <laughs> and I failed. I failed myself and you. Oh my God, this is frustrating. But it is beautiful. But it would have been more beautiful had I shown you the aerial footage. Literally, that is the whole reason I came here. In fact, I specifically came here because it was the one day that showed that it was going to be sunny all day because it rains here a lot. When I looked at the forecast this morning, it's showing like six days of nonstop rain. So I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to come back here anytime soon. I just stopped at a hotel. They have like this huge uh, area and I have a menu, Mantra du Hotel. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. It's so beautiful here. So I'm really thirsty. I don't know what I want. Maybe I want a coffee, maybe I want a beer. Beer does sound good, but I have to walk all the way down the mountain. I'm not sure that's a good idea. So this is amazing. The viewpoint is spectacular. I got some chips and uh, a beer. I am so thirsty. Like, I feel like I could almost drink out of that river that we've seen earlier. 
Oh, this is amazing. I just came from India and beer is a little bit taboo there, I guess, so I, I didn't really have a lot of beer. I usually don't drink beer very often. I think I had three beers while I was in India for a year and a half just on this last trip. Anyway, so it feels amazing and refreshing to have a beer. My favorite is dark, dark beer, so this is exciting. It's really delicious. Wow, so I just hung out, had a beer, had some chips, and uh, now I'm on my way down. The waiter, the man, really kind man, he uh, said there's actually a shortcut that I could take if I go through the forest. Just follow the trail down here. It'll take me there rather than follow the road. He said you'll save a lot of time, so that's, that's good news. So I found the trail. It's amazing. Right now I'm walking through a forest full of pine trees on the side of the mountain. It's just breathtaking here. What an epic day. Just fun. Even though I had a little bit of frustration with the drone, I really, really wish that I would have brought the cable, but whatever. The, the views totally make up for it. Unfortunately, you were not able to experience them fully like I was, but from my perspective, this place is amazing. The people are helpful, the people are friendly. I can see I'm really, really going to enjoy my time here in Albania. I'm just getting started. It's just amazing here. And then the trees open up a little bit for the, uh, I don't know if you can see, ah, the sun. It's, the village is in my eyesight now. I don't know. I really, really, really wish you were here personally and you could walk here with me and we would enjoy this together because this is just awesome. I am a sucker for mountains because I grew up in an area where mountains don't exist. I think I was 17 years old the very first time I seen a mountain and I was driving into Colorado on a road trip and we arrived in the morning. I remember looking, the sun was rising and I, I seen clouds and I thought, wow, those clouds are really amazing. As the sun started to go up, I started to see, oh my God, those were not clouds, those are mountains in the background, and I, I couldn't even believe it. My mind just like exploded. I've never seen a mountain until I turned 17. The sun is gonna go down really quick because it's almost behind the mountain, and then it'll be dark. So anyway, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed following my crazy adventure. Sometimes I wonder why you guys even follow my crazy adventures. I mean, <laughs> I'm just, I just go to the top of a mountain alone, forget my drone cable, and then have a beer, and then walk down the side of a mountain in a forest um, almost before dark in the middle of a small village surrounded by mountains and I don't even know anyone I don't even speak the language so this is really really weird I'm glad you follow me that's cool thank you all for watching remember your time is running out start living oh yeah look at this your time oh can oh my god can you even look at this my bag is in the way this camera's really heavy.